I wish everybody could travel with us and be in these places because suddenly when you're there seeing everything with your own eyes and understanding things from the perspective of the people, it just changes things. I'll just, I'll just explain your emergency exit okay. since you're sitting by the exit door. Uh, forward is always all the way When you come and you see and you understand the roads they walk, the risks they take, it makes me anyway want to go home and, and try to bring that reality to our viewers, to our donors to say, this is really important that you and I step into this picture in the name of Christ and make a difference. Good. How are you? I do think that the Krauses are amazing because what do most people think of retirement as? A time to do all the things that, you know, you maybe haven't had time to do in your work years. They've been in Africa for 12 years. And uh, when you ask them, you know, how long will you stay? And they say, we don't know. You know, until God tells us what we're supposed to do here is done. That's commitment. We came for the kids to know Jesus. That is the most important thing, but we really want them to learn how to read and write and how to be successful. I didn't really think boarding was something I would ever get into, but I see such a need for it here with kids who um, don't have family. See you in the morning, okay? There's just a sense of compassion and mercy and grace and caring, and, and so that's why the kids love being there. I think we attach so much to being comfortable and to having, I mean, I was grousing this morning about, about my dryer. <laughs> Sorry, God. <laughs> but, you know, I have never seen children who so obviously had not had a bath in such a long time. I mean, water is such a commodity here, and they need the water to grow the food that sustains them. If they're blessed enough to have chickens or goats or something, they need to be able to feed them. So, you know, it is a poverty level that's hard for us in the West to understand. This is a typical home here in Macha, Zambia. One bed, no matter how many people are in the family. So can you imagine when a child goes to the boarding school, what an amazing thing it is for them to have space of their own, belongings of their own, a bed of their own is an unimaginable thing. But when you're here and you see it, I mean, people are happy to have clothes on their back. The fact that they're dirty, have holes in them, are not fashionable, is of no consequence whatsoever. And um, I think it puts a different spin on life for us once we've been here. A lot of the things that we might have dwelt on or thought were important just aren't very significant anymore, except your hair dryer. <laughs> <laughs> you have a wonderful future ahead of you. Do you know that? Yeah darling little girl very shy because her english was still developing and uh, she's a boarder at the school so she's there 24 7 getting not just the schooling but the love and the nurturing that she so needs both of her parents have uh, passed away from aids and god's going to give you a vision for what he wants you to be and what he wants you to do and he'll guide you have you ever invited jesus into your heart no, you have not. To have her be so candid about the fact that she never invited Jesus into her heart, and then to say she was willing to do that with me, was I was really astonished. And it was so precious to hear her little voice repeat that prayer. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I want to know you. I want to know you. And I want to give my life to you. And I want to give my life to you. People should know, too, that that moment wasn't anything that was scripted or pre-planned. I would never do that to someone on camera to embarrass them in any way or to, to make them feel compelled that she knew exactly what she was doing. She had learned all about that at the school and she knew what it meant to have Jesus in her heart. God was working in her heart before we ever got there and I think just wanted to bless us and our viewers with, with the joy of seeing a seven-year-old little girl say, yes, I, I want to know Jesus that way. You know, to, to give someone 
the gift of the knowledge of Christ so that they can receive salvation from him, to have their hearts and their minds changed, then to be able to educate them and know that they could become the leaders of their countries. I mean, this is how you change a nation. You change a nation by reaching the young people and changing the next generation. And when you see firsthand that that's actually happening here, it's pretty exciting.